So in the last session we have seen the functional block diagram of the triple five timer. Okay. So today we will see the common mode of operation of your triple five timer. That is your one is your stable multi vibrator and the second one is your mono stable multi vibrator. Okay. So I have just redrawn the functional diagram twice. One for your stable and the other for your mono stable. So this is your internal uh, block diagram. Now I have taken out the pins. Now we are going to modify it as per your stable as and as per your mono stable. So what is happening for your stable multi vibrator? The uh, passive components, resistors, and capacitor is connected externally, right? So in the first session we have seen the pin diagram, right? Along with that of your two resistor and capacitor. Just we are going to modify this in this functional block diagram okay so a stable multi vibrator consists of how many uh, resistors it consists of two resistors so what was a, a two resistor how was the connection so first the connection was from your vcc right so from the vcc you had a resistor that is ra resistor from eighth pin to the seventh pin so where is your seventh pin right so this will be your ra resistor now from the seventh pin that is uh, the second resistor rb was connected to the sixth pin or a second pin because sixth pin and the second pin was shorted so rb so now i am going to short your sixth pin and your second pin okay so the connection is done now from this you will be having your capacitor see now this will be equal to your right so this will be equal to your vc okay this will be the junction okay so this is how the modification now what are the other uh, modify uh, modification in the functional diagram so fourth pin when it is not used it has to be connected to the vcc okay so any other thing you have the first pin going to the ground here you have Capacitor of 0 0.01 microfarad, right? 0 0.01 microfarad connected to the ground. Okay, so these are the modification in the case of a stable multi vibrator, two resistors and your a capacitor which is connected. Now, same uh, when you modify it. In so, in the case of mono stable multi vibrator, what is happening? You have uh, have only one resistor RA, RB is being eliminated. So, what will be your connection from the eighth pin to your RA will be connected to the 7th pin where your 7th and 6th will be shorted, right? So, you are going to eliminate your RB. So, RA will go to, I can give it to the 6th pin and you are going to short your 6th pin and 7th pin will be shorted, okay? So, from here you have a capacitor which will be going to your ground, okay? So, what is happening to your 2nd pin here? To the 2nd pin, what you will be giving? You will be giving your triggering pulse, triggering pulse mono stable multi vibrator similar to the previous case you will be connecting your fourth pin will be connected to your vcc and across the fifth pin you will be you will be connecting your 0 0.01 microfarad and it will be connected to the ground okay so here it is not the functional block diagram here it is not okay it is not complete so now it is complete so these are the two different configuration of your stable as well as your mono stable multi vibrator so first let's see the working principle of the mono stable multi vibrator with its uh, derivation of your timing pulse okay so what is happening in your uh, mono stable multi vibrator let me write here so this will be your working principle working principle so if i take case one okay case one the initial condition okay so in the initial condition initial condition let us assume that the output is equal to assume output is equal to that is v out is equal to zero so if v out is equal to zero what will happen now here first condition i am assuming that v out is equal to zero if v out is equal to zero your q is equal to one right because output is the complement of your output of your flip flop so q will be equal to one if q is equal to one what will be happening to your transistor the discharge transistor will be on 
so what will happen to your capacitor as this is on it will act as a short circuit all the capacitor will uh, will uh, voltage will discharge towards the ground so the capacitor vc will be equal to zero so when v out is equal to zero your flip flop output will be equal to one so when your flip flop output is equal to one what will be happening to your transistor transistor that is your discharge transistor will be in your on state when your discharge transistor in your, is in your on state what will be happening to your uh, uh, capacitor that is the capacitor discharges capacitor discharges therefore what will be happening to your vc vc will be equal to zero so this will be your first condition now case two what you are going to do you are going to apply the negative triggering pulse okay so applying negative triggering pulse where you are applying your negative triggering pulse across your pin number two okay so when you apply the negative triggering pulse what will happen so i am applying the negative triggering pulse okay so when your negative triggering pulse becomes more negative than one by three it, when it is below 1 by 3 when it drops 1 by 3 what will be happening your lower comparator will be triggering and your output will be equal to 1 which will make your r is equal to 1 when r is equal to 1 the q will be equal to 0 so this will be your second condition when q is equal to 0 what will happen to your uh, transistor here in the second case if q is equal to 0 the transistor will be off when the transistor is off this will cut off and your what will happen to your capacitor the capacitor starts charging through your ra towards your vcc okay so this will be your vcc right so i am repeating it once again when the, uh, the negative triggering pulse drops below 1 by 3 your uh, lower comparator will be on r will be equal to 1 it will reset the flip flop q will be equal to 0 when q is equal to 0 your transistor q1 will be off when this is off it will be acting as an open circuit what will happen to your capacitor the capacitor char starts charging towards your vcc because there is no connection towards your transistor okay what will happen to your output output will be the inverted output will be equal to 1 so this is the procedure which is happening when you are negative triggering pulse so when you when you are applying the negative negative triggering triggering pulse what will happen to your v out v out will be changing from 0 to 1 what will happen to your flip flop output flip flop output will be equal to 0 when your flip flop output is equal to 0 what will be your transistor output transistor will be off okay when your transistor is off what will be your uh, value of your capacitor the capacitor starts charging okay the capacitor starts charging towards vcc towards vcc what is the path of charging so the path of charging will be is equal to through path is through ra okay so what will be your capacitor now capacitor starts to charge it increases till what value it charges so as your capacitor starts charging towards your vcc but once it reaches greater than 2 by 3 vcc see here across the 6 you have your non-inverting terminal correct connected right so when your vc reaches greater than 2 by 3 vcc what will happen your upper comparator will get triggered and now it will become 1 so s will be equal to 1 it will so it will again set your flip-flop one so till so your capacitor will charge till what value till 2 by 3 vcc okay that is your case 2 now what happens to your case 3 once your capacitor voltage is greater than 2 by 3 vcc what will happen to your output your s will be equal to 1 right so your v naught will be equal to 0 again so what will happen to your flip-flop output flip-flop output is equal to 1 because your s will be equal to 1 it will be setting the flip-flop now transistor will be again in the on condition what will happen when it is on you will be having your capacitor to discharge again the process continues now it will become it will be in your uh, negative uh, in the permanent state okay so v naught will be equal to zero in the permanent state so until and unless you are going to apply the triggering pulse so that is called as your permanent state so these are the three different cases 
Now, if I can give it by means of the diagrammatic representation. So now, let me take the three diagrams. One is your input trigger. Input trigger. So now, if I apply an input trigger here. So if this will be equal to 1 by 3 Vcc. Now, your output you are getting due to the charging and discharging of the capacitor. So we have to give the next diagram as your capacitor voltage. Capacitor voltage. So what will be your capacitor voltage? Now as you apply the trigger, what will happen? So as you apply the trigger, now if I take this as T1. And T1 you have, you have applied the trigger. What will happen to your capacitor? The capacitor starts to charge. So it starts to charge till what value? Once it reaches 2 by 3. Okay, so the third we will give the output voltage also V out, output volt, output voltage. Okay, V out. So what will be happening to your output voltage? It will be off. Once it started charging, it will change the state. V out will go high. It will remain in this state. Once your charging reaches two by three VCC, what will happen? The capacitor discharges. At the same time, what will happen to your output? Output will go low. Okay, so this will be in the permanent state. This is called as your permanent state. Until and unless you are going to apply the trigger, it will be uh, in the output will be in the off state itself. So this will be your T on. So this T on is given by 1.1 RA into C. So T on, this is called as your pulse width. So you are going to derive the expression of your T on. Okay, T on is equal to 1. 0.1 RA into C. How did you get this? You are going to do it by means of the derivation. So in the case of expression for pulse width, you know that the pulse width is equal to T on which is the charging time of the capacitor that is from 0 to 2 by 3 Vcc. Okay. So the equation for exponential charging of the capacitor in general is given by the formula. So what is the formula? Vc is equal to Vf plus Vi minus Vf into E power minus T divided by tau. Okay. So what are these parameters? So Vi will be equal to, so Vi will be equal to initial capacitor voltage, initial and final, right? Vi will be initial capacitor voltage, whereas what will be your Vf? Vf will be equal to final capacitor voltage. What will be your Vc? Vc is equal to the capacitor voltage during charging interval. During the charging interval. That is what is the charging interval? 0 to 2 by 3 Vcc. Okay. And tau is nothing but your time constant. So in this case the time constant is given by your resistor and capacitor Ra into C. Okay. So these are the different parameters. So when we substitute in your equation the different values now you know that it the charging starts from zero right so vi is equal to zero volt and vf is equal to it can charge till your vcc so when you substitute this in your equation vc will be equal to vf is equal to vcc plus vi is equal to zero minus vcc into e power minus t divided by ra into c Okay, so what will be your equation? You can modify it into Vc is equal to Vcc into, right, Vcc into, so 0 will get cancelled. So if I take Vc as common, 1 minus e power minus t divided by Ra into C. So this will be your equation. If I take this as equation 1, okay, taking this as equation 1. Now you know that at time T is equal to, it can charge, what is the value for Vc? Vc is a charging time period, right? So it charges till 2 by 3. So till t, 2 by 3. So if this is your T1 and this T2, at T2 your value is equal to 2 by 3 Vcc. So what will be happening in your equation at T is equal to T2. What will be your capacitor voltage? Capacitor voltage reaches 2 by 3. Vcc from 0 to 2 by 3 Vcc. So now what will be happening to your Vcc is equal to 2 by 3 Vcc. So when you substitute in your equation 2 by 3 Vcc will be equal to Vcc into 1 minus e power minus t. t I can modify it into t on. Okay. t on into so t on divided by Ra into c. 
So this will be your modified equation. Okay. Clear? Now, or I can write it as, how can you reconfigure it? So here you have VCC will get cancelled. Here also you have VCC. So both VCC will get cancelled. So 2 by 3, this 1 will come this side. Right? 2 by 3 minus 1 is equal to minus e power minus t on divided by ra into c okay so or i can write that just reconfigure it e power t on divided by sorry minus t on divided by ra into c is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3 so what is your 1 minus 2 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 3 right so you can you will be getting the equation e power minus t on divided by r a into c is equal to 1 by 3 so this is your equation which you have got okay now it is in the form what it looks in the form what is the formula right it looks like e power k is equal to a constant which is c so from this what is your uh, natural logarithm value so i can write that k is equal to ln of c just apply this formula here okay so in this case what is your k k is equal to minus t on divided by ra into c right and your constant c is equal to 1 by 3 so this will be your k this will be your c so now when you reconfigure it what what will be your equation minus t on divided by r a into c is equal to k is equal to ln natural logarithm of ln c which is equal to ln 1 by 3 so taking r a into c, uh, c towards this side what will what you will be getting so i can write that minus t on is equal to r a into c into ln 3 right so you are getting sorry uh, ln 1 by 3 right ln 1 by 3 so you have a, a equation that is as per log reciprocal rule reciprocal rule ln 1 by x is equal to minus ln x okay so you have the ln reciprocal rule is equal to so here you have ln 1 by x right which i can replace it by minus ln x so this will apply we'll apply this formula here so minus t on will be equal to r a into c so ln 1 by 3 or 1 by x is equal to ln so which is equal to minus ln x right x is equal to 3 okay ln 3 so this minus will get cancelled this minus will get cancelled okay so what will be your value t on will be equal to r a into c into ln 3 what is the value for ln 3 it is equal to 1.09 so t on will be is equal to 1.1 into approximately 1.1 into r a into c now you have got this expression of your pulse width so your pulse width is equal to so we have written here right t on is equal to 1.1 into r a into c you are getting this equation t on is equal to 1.1 into r a into c okay